Now we're going to talk about bromination of benzene. And so if you take benzene and you add in Br2, you will not get bromobenzene. You don't have a good enough nucleophile or electrophile to get bromobenzene. But we can make this reaction work by adding in a catalyst, and specifically something, a Lewis acid, such as iron tribromide. So the first step of this reaction is activation of our electrophile, our bromine. So you have one of the bromines activate by coordination to the iron of FeBr3. This now gives us a partial positive charge on the terminal bromine that allows the electrons in the aromatic ring, the benzene ring, to attack this bromine and kick out our Br- attached to the iron. So we have now made a carbocation and attached bromine to one atom um, of, the, um, of the benzene ring. And the counter ion is, here is FeBr4 minus. This carbocation has resonance stabilization, similar to what we've seen for other electrophilic aromatic substitutions. And so the pi electrons next door can um, satisfy the carbocation as drawn and leave behind a new carbocation. And we can also have one more resonance structure in which the other pi electrons flip over to give a third carbocation. So three of the carbon atoms of this intermediate can hold the positive charge. We can't um, further walk around the ring because we have a, um, an sp3 hybridized carbon atom here. But we can have the Br- minus that's attached to the FeBr3 come back and eliminate the proton attached to the carbon with the bromine on it. So we form an sp2 hybridized carbon atom, and we re-aromatize the ring. And that's how we make bromobenzene from bromine and benzene.